This is going to be a tutorial where I show you how to create a terrain texture for your paint swatches that will somewhat match your um, uh, Course Forge layers library um, layer. So this is one where I've taken uh, what JT83 had suggested he's using for his um, rough. He's using uh, custom um, texturing and it's just basically loading the defaults. He has the O green fringe the sky grass fair, and then this grass normal one um, as his textures. I've altered these numbers here. Um, we'll kind of go into them. I think this was at the start, this was like 0.19 something. Um, so I'm going to just reload that. So basically, just wanted to show you kind of the result where it's close, it's not perfect, um, but it does blend in. And I can kind of show you how we got to this point. But uh, I'm going to kind of reload this to kind of where he kind of had the settings. I think what I'm going to show you is I suggest the normal is probably too strong at those default settings and uh, kind of what we're going to do. But basically, you're going to want to open your um, textures that are making up this layer into um, Photoshop or any other photo editing program. And so I just double click on O-Green Fringe and it opens in my Adobe. And then we want to open Skygrass Fair and that opens as well. Uh, one of the first things you're going to notice is this sky grass fair. If you look at the image size of it, it's 2048 by 2048. The O green fringe, if you look at that size, it's 512 by 512. So one of the things that's easier to do with the layers library is we can tile each of these differently. So this is at 100 and this is at 3. And when you zoom in, I'm going to take off the normal here. So I'm going to put that normal on 0 and then recalculate the spline here. And so what you'll see is when you zoom in here, the um, that sky grass fair is real tight. You know, he's going for this closely mown rough sort of look. And so that's a real dense uh, packing there. Whereas this is more general. So if I put zero on the sky grass fair and we reload this, this is tiling every 100 meters, you know, so this texture is really spread out or spaced out because it's just a kind of a rough diffuse color and it's not giving us uh, the main pop to this rough, you know, it's just sort of a background color. And so we have to somewhat rectify that. When we have a terrain swatch where we're using to paint and you look at this, we only have the option of a diffuse color in a normal. And uh, so in the end, and we cannot um, adjust them independently. Sorry, I'm going to reduce that brush there. You can't control them independently. And so in the end, you have to somewhat settle upon a diffuse color that works well with the normal in terms of sizing. Um, and I'll show you, we got to really just turn down the normal a bit when we, do, um, when we do the rough. So let me just put in currently the grass normal. Um, that's being used. Let me type this in. So I'm in the first color swatch here and it can really be any of the color swatches but um, I want to bring up that grass normal that's being used um, in the custom library. You know if we basically just put a diffuse color and tacked the same normal on that we're using for the layers library you're gonna see it's too much. You know it's too strong and so let me recalculate the splines here with the normal and have them look at each other. So what you're going to have to do is duplicate this normal and reduce its settings and then we'll work on the diffuse color and try to get the sizing of the textures just right and um, and see if we can get something close enough. And so you kind of got to understand what the layers library is doing and what your limitations are with the terrain texture. So you can see these don't match very well and they matched better earlier when we kind of toned down the normal. So we'll do that. But first, let's go into Photoshop and let's um, let's look at this. If we look at Skygrass Fair, and I've also opened Peb Deep, um, which is another texture that Mike um, has provided. This is a terrain painting that Peb Deep 2048. You can see this and Skygrass Fair are somewhat similar in terms of uh, the grass density. And so the 2048 is really what you're going to need to use for a texture size because if we use this at 512 and then we came back here and used it to paint, you'll see that the resolution loss 
um, will be too great for us. And you could paint it at um, sort of like a one on the texturing sl slot, but then it's going to, um, it's just going to tile funny for you. So you're going to see some of these things are compromises, but what you're going to do is come back to your O green fringe and let's resize this. So I'm going to change this size to 2048. And you're not going to save this. You're going to just you're going to be copying this and making a new file, and then don't save your changes because you're going to want to leave this the way it was for the layers library. So I'm going to select all. That's either Control A or select all there, and then copy it. And then we're going to take it to the Sky Grass Fair, and then just paste it. And then let's save this as something new. So I'm going to go back and close the green fringe, and do not save that. And then I'm going to save this as something new. So I'm going to go File Save As. And I'm not going to put it in the custom library here. I'm going to go back to the assets and to the course and to the textures. And this is where the painted textures show up in your Unity project. And so I'm going to call this, um, I'm going to call this, I've already made it before just to test it. I'm going to call it rough underscore terrain text. You can call it whatever you want to call it. But this is going to match his rough texture there. And we're going to go ahead and save that. Oh, I've got it open, so let me close it here. But remember, you're just saving this out into Unity and not into your uh, Perfect Parallel Library, but instead into your assets of your course project here and into the course textures. And then, so I'm going to save that there. And it's going to save as the PSD, which is what you want. That is fine. Um, okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to run... Um, I'm actually going to flip these, so I'm going to double click on background and make it layer 0 and choose OK and then flip flop these here so that the um, the sky grass fair here is on top and then I'm going to change this top layer um, to just overlay or sorry multiply multiply so you're going to see this is not going to be the right value but we're going to save it and then we're going to come back in here and look at it and so it's going to automatically update here in Unity. And then I'm going to take this normal off for now. So type in none, just to show you where we're at. And click apply. So what you're going to have to do is then, this is my first terrain paint swatch. I think it's 8 to start, so let's put it on 8 just to show you why I'm at 3 here eventually, actually. So you put it on 8, and then you're going to take 100% opacity, 100% target strength, and then, you know, some brush, whatever it may be that you want to do, and then just paint in here. I've already kind of done that, so let me just paint over so I can show you what I'm doing. And so you're going to take your paint swatch and, um, and then just paint in your green. And now you'll see, when we zoom in here, I'm going to scale this down. When we zoom in here, you're going to see... And let me take, I'm going to take the normal again off the layers library. Just so that you can look at the detail texturing here. So when you zoom in, you're going to notice, well, the grass over here is much tighter than the grass over here. It's just a sizing difference. This is tiling every 8 meters, and the grass detail texture, remember, that you've made here is tiling every 3 meters. Now, Depends on how big you've made those particle sizes, but um, in the end, the sky grass fair, it's the same texture we're using over here. So it, if we put it at three, then it should be somewhat similar. And so in the end, basically what I'm trying to show you is whatever you're tiling here um, for your detailed texture, if you're using that here for your overlay, then you're going to want to put that same in for your texture, texture swatch. And so it's going to be tiling more. You're going to be able to see the pattern, um, which is not as good. So you're going to want to maybe break this up with some other painting like you've got out here in the periphery. It just makes it a little more realistic, but you can kind of blend those things in. But now, um, at least your detail texture on the small size is correct. Now the only thing we have to do is work on the hue and the, uh, and the value and the normals here. And so first, let's work on getting the value a little closer here. And the value is just light and dark. 
And so all you're going to have to do is add here. So come to the bottom right and add a brightness contrast layer. And let's start by just turning the brightness up. And we'll save that out. And then see what that does for us. <coughs> okay, so that's getting closer. The values don't match yet, so it's not right. I'm still a little too dark. But now we're going to start putting the normals back in because those will add a little bit of uh, darkness to this. Now, this was tiling at 20, which is fine. But 0.19 or something in that range for the default is way too much. You're going to see, see how that adds this real wavy. You just don't want that strong of a touch. And now let me put my camera on here. I think you guys have seen how to do that. But let's put our main camera here and just show you that. See how this is just too much going on? It's real wavy and it kind of swirls and it just, um, it's going to detract from that normal. So you honestly, I'm going to tone it down and I'm going to bring it down to 0.08. I want this larger normal to kind of do something out in the distance a little bit, you know, and you can see that as we get lower here. So let's move that and, um, and then look at the view there. And so that's a little better, just a softer touch. You might even go a little lighter than that. You know, I'd maybe even say 0 0.07, 0 0.06, whatever it may be. But um, now let's show you how you can soften the normal for the terrain texture. So we're going to go back to the terrain texture. And we're going to put the grass normal on that's currently there just to kind of show you where we're at. Let's custom this one. And you can see it's just way too strong. And so what you're going to do is go back into your project here and you're going to find the normal, this grass normal one, and control D and duplicate it. So it's going to create grass normal two. And now let me clean up my, um, real quick, I've got some of these other ones that I was just practicing with there. <coughs> Sorry. All right, so let's grab this grass normal too, and then let's just drag it up. So left mouse click and drag, and we're going to drop this into our textures folder. And then we're going to come back to our terrain, and we're going to put this grass normal too over there. Now it's the same one, but what we're going to do is go into its detail. So click on it and make sure you've got the inspector opened. And see how the bumpiness is at 0.25? Let's just drop this to point 0.1 and then click apply. So you can see it's it's there still I think still too strong of a touch. So let's go point 0.05 and apply. All right, so that's looking better. So let's zoom a little away. And then let's look at the game view. So let's take our camera again align it with the view and take a look here. All right, so now we're getting closer with the detailing of it. The normal is still maybe a touch strong, but could, could live with it. And the value is just not right. So we're going to go back into Photoshop and we're going to tone down the value here by increasing the brightness. And then we're going to save it again. All right, so we're getting closer. Just maybe a few more clicks here. And you could probably have these in side-by-side -side windows. Maybe overdid it just a smidge there. But uh, I'm going to click off the camera here. And then click off my splines so you can see so we're getting we're getting better um, I may have gone too far in the other direction and I still don't like the normals too strong so let's tone down the normal and see if that changes this at all sorry so this grass normal too so I'm even gonna drop that uh, 0 0.03 here Let's see if we do smooth instead of sharp, if that does anything. 
Not a whole lot. But I think we're getting better. Don't hit the middle mouse button. Getting better. Still not perfect. But see how you can see the tiling? And so that's why I really don't like it at that small of a number either. Um, so if you can make a compromise as well, I'd try to go up as big as you could on the grass. You know, maybe could you do a four? Would that be um, okay? And you just have to look at it. You know, is that is that too much away from that mode grass look that you want? And then if we do four there, then we could bump this up to four and reduce some of the tiling look. And then like I said, I would take, you know, I would take another color <coughs> and then take sort of a spatter brush and then you could reduce the opacity and the target strength here and come in and break up the tiling a little bit. You know, you'd have to just play with it, but I do think you'll want to break it up at some point. And then even like uh, Micah Henrik has suggested doing planting, you know, now you come in and where you see some tiling um, that you could come in and you could break up some of the tiling with some planting and, and other things that you might want to do. So um, hopefully this kind of gives you the idea of how you can get in the close range. The only other thing I'd want to show you is if it's way off too, if you feel like you want to adjust the hue, remember you can come back in here at a hue saturation layer and maybe you think you're looking at this and think, well, this is a little more green um, and uh, or has a little more green pop to it than this does and maybe that's a little more yellow and, um, and then you could kind of push this a little bit, although they're coming from the same texture, so it should be close. But if you get the value right, which is the light and dark, that's the most important thing, and it will make it, um, you know, appear to blend better. So hopefully that works well for you guys. I'm going to supply the PSD file that I have here, um, as well as the terrain texture as a JPEG if you wanted to use it differently. And I guess I'll um, put this normal in as well. Okay, enjoy.